Welcome into the New England Sports Center. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Watson, Mike Tarosian on camera. And this evening, it's the 1 and 1 Hopkinton Hillers against the 2 and 0 Westwood Wolverines. Westwood took their first two wins against Medfield last week 1 to nothing and 4 to 3. While the Hillers split with Norwood, they won their road game. 5-1, to one, then lost here at the New England Sports Center, 8-1. to one. They are certainly hoping for a better result here tonight. As I welcome in my broadcast partner, Steve Watson. Steve, it's good to have high school hockey back, and the players certainly excited to be out there today. Oh, it sure is. A lot of people thought it would not happen. Well, guess what? We're here, and it's happening. Absolutely, and hockey was one of those sports that faced a lot of issues with the virus a lot throughout of the state. Yep. And we're hoping that they're able to get this season in. So far, so good. And it should be a great matchup here tonight against two teams that will see each other quite a bit this season as they are in the <laughs> same uh, section of the TVL that will be playing against each other. And unfortunately, a couple of the schools in this section, Ashland and Holliston, uh, are not yet active due to issues with coronavirus we're hoping that they will get in some type of season but in any case we are ready for hockey here at the new england sports center in the face-off circle for the hillers it is joe Carazza, and we are underway westwood in their away green jerseys hillers in their home white jerseys as Carazza picks it up along the corner sends it out to the high slot area westwood Trying to bring it into Hiller's territory. Here comes John Nolte. There's a shot. A wrister a little bit wide there. A battle along the near side as Mara trying to come away with it. Getting in there for Westwood. Danny Sullivan sends it across. And there's a shot out in front by Nolte. In net for the Hillers. It's Colin Norid, the senior. One of the several seniors on this roster. Mara along the near side. He'll send it over. Here comes Cole Dixon. And it's handled by Colin Fahey. Picking it up, Dixon. Sends it across looking for Toko. And we'll get a offsides here. We'll bring it back into Hiller's territory off the icing. Two 22-minute, 30-second halves this season for hockey. A little bit different seeing the half, Steve, but of course, without the locker rooms uh, being able to be used, it certainly makes a bit of sense yeah. as you'll have you, less break time. You know, Tom, you just have to adapt. Like, a lot of things that all of us have gone through since March. It's, it's very weird getting here, seeing the players getting dressed in the parking lot. Right. You usually see that in the uh, beer leagues with the adults, stuff like that. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is, right? So Anything to get out there, right? Exactly. Whatever it takes. Ryan Title on the faceoff for the Hillers. He's up against Horsefall. And Westwood with a shot there. That's off the stick of Guarino. Norid sets it up. Toko with the pass up to title. Along the far side now. Both teams kind of just feeling each other out at the moment. Pass over to Fahey. Getting in there is Berman for the Hillers. Mike Berman is a player that came on strong towards the end of the season last year. Fahey working his way up, takes a shot there, a little bit wide. There's a secondary shot by Foley. That is off the side of the net. Foley was trying to sneak it through, but Jarrett got in his way. And now here comes Toko. Racing up the ice, there's a shot wide to the left. Handled by Fay along the far side. And now here comes the Wolverines. Racing up the ice is Fay. They'll take it around the net. Sends it out, no one's there. Toko takes it. Toko with the backhanded pass around the boards. 
Zoltarov trying to get in there for the Hillers. And now Mara gets a stick in there. Mara with the steal. There's a shot a little bit wide. And a shot there is going to be wide from Sheamus. Dixon sends it around to the corner. Zoltarov trying to chase it down. Here comes Faye and Westwood. Handled by Dixon. Over to Sheamus. Sheamus sends it down. Dyson with the pass up to the near side. Now racing up the ice. This is number 17 for Westwood, Declan Guarino. That shot will be wrapped up by Norid. Westwood Wolverines led by head coach Matt Sebet. The Hillers, of course, led by head coach Chris McPherson, who's done a tremendous job with this Hillers program. And in the last few years, they've been one of the most competitive programs in the state. Popped off the glass by Toko. Trying to track it down his title. Up to the blue line now to Berman. Here's a shot a little wide. Toko gets a stick on it. And the Wolverines get the defenders out in front to take it away. Popped off the glass by McGuff. He's one of the senior captains on this Westwood team. Over to Toko. Toko racing up the ice. Surrounded by Wolverines, gets a shot off. It's off the goaltender's leg pad. It's Declan O'Leary in net for Westwood. Little by Norid. Up along the near side, that's Sullivan. Sullivan trying to close in. He's diverted by Jarrett. And there's a shot, a little high off the stick of Dyson. Handled along the far side by Zolotarov. Popped up by Karatsa. 17.50 and counting left to go in this first half. It's taken a little getting used to seeing halves in hockey, Steve. It sure is. <laughs> Some strange times. <laughs> no periods this year. Right. <laughs> it's gone well so far. So like far. <laughs> Here comes Horsefall. And we'll get an offsides. I imagine that's be strange for the players because they're used to playing three 15-minute periods. Right. So now you're playing seven and a half minutes more than you normally would without resting. So I wonder if you'll see some some guys get tired towards the end of a half. Well, one thing I think you'll notice is there will be a few more timeouts than typically. Yeah, makes sense. At least that's what I saw in the one game we've done so far. There were more timeouts. Typically you get one or two a game, and that game was about four or five between the two teams. Popped off the boards by Fahey into the Hiller zone, and we'll get a stoppage as we'll have an icing call. And of course, you can only have five or so players on each bench. They're all kind of spaced out along the boards here as well. So, You're right. Another strange thing. Yep, five players see. on the bench at once. That's the rule. And as far as gameplay, not too many rule differences. They will blow the whistle if there's a big gathering of players. But you don't see it too often. Not too, too often, no. There's a shot, and that is in! Toko with the goal! Right off the post, and in it goes with 17.08 left to go in the first half, and the Hillers take the 1 0 lead. What a beauty of a shot by the senior, and that just crossed that line. Not by much on that one. He got just enough on that. Just enough. Any, even the slightest bit less, I it's don't know not if going, that's in. going in. But he got the job done, and the Hillers leading it 1 0. Westwood trying to work their way up the ice. Diverted there by Moore. Along the near side, picked up by Pizzuto. Pizzuto swings it around. Out to Foley. We'll wrap it around. Trying to dig it out of the near side is Sheamus.
Sheamus with the pass over to Morse. And now Westwood threatening. Great defensive effort by Dixon as he was able to divert Hamilton. Here comes the Hillers. Dixon wasn't there, Steve. I think Westwood would have had a goal in that situation. Yes. Yeah. Key block right there out front. Good day. Scardino sends it down the near side. Picked up back ice by Dyson. Popped off the boards by Dyson as Westwood in the middle of the line change. You got Robert Dyson and Paul Dyson out there, brothers for Westwood. Along the far side, Berman, he'll send it around. Zoltarev. And he'll take a big hit from Nolte, that'll draw a whistle, and I think we might have a penalty. We will indeed have a Hiller's power play as Dyson will head to the box for the cross check. Hillers will have the man advantage for the next two minutes. 15.33 left to go in the first half. Norrid's going to have to divert this one. Sheamus sets it up for Mera. He has speed. Here he comes. Look out. Mera shot, and it's turned away out in front, and a backhanded shot turned away. Now a third shot by Mera. That's going to be wrapped up by O'Leary. Good pressure there by Mera and Carazza. It's a great pressure, a few good shots and some good saves right there too. Golden is thrown out on his, on his stomach right there, that save. It certainly was. Tim Thomas-esque almost. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, he didn't have too much defensive help during that. No. Carazza sends it over. And there's a shot by Sheamus. That's going to be wrapped up. We'll have a face off with 14.56 left. A one nothing lead for the Hillers. 124 left to go on the power play. Carazza sends it across. And Jarrett will bump it off the boards. Marinal along the corner. Mera takes it back to the blue line. Trying to center it up. Carazza trying to race in there. Leaves it out in front. And it's diverted for the moment. Mera will handle it. Here he goes into the circle. Sends it out. Cross over to Morse. And here comes Westwood. Horseful. Leaves it out. Backhander a little wide there. It was off the stick of Fahey. 38 seconds left on the power play. Mera leaves it for Sheamus. Popped off the boards. So far so good on the penalty kill for Westwood. Sheamus trying to work it up. He'll take a bang into the boards from Sullivan. And there's a shot. That was off of the stick of Toka. Back to Berman now. Leaves it for Toko. Power play has expired. Cam Jarrett racing down. There's a shot wide to the left there. Berman, he'll take a shot at it off the goaltender's leg pad. And the Wolverines get it out of their defensive zone, but we'll have an icing. 13-17 left to go in the first half. Killers with the one nothing lead. And it's been good pressure by Hopkinson so far, Steve. Yes, a good pressure, some good chances. Some timely saves here by Westwood thus far, but keep the pressure on. Absolutely. Berman wraps it around now along the corner. Toko trying to turn it back towards Westwood zone. Jarrett gets in there. Big pile of traffic along the near side boards. 
Aiden Wolf getting a stick in there. Pass over to Aiden Wolf. Here he comes. Leaves it out in front. It's stolen away by Horsfall. Horsfall doing battle with Carazza. And here comes Horsfall. Racing up the ice. Towards the net. Leaves it out in front. There's a shot and it's a low spot. And he's able to turn it away. Colin Nor had lost it for a moment. But was able to push it to his right off the stick of Fahey. Hera getting in there on the near side now along the corner of that Sheamus. He'll send it around. Here comes Carazza. A lot of power on that shot, but just a bit wide. Hiller's in the midst of a change. Here comes Fay. Leaves it out in front, and it's going to be wrapped up by Norred. He was just able to get the wrap on that before Horsefall realized the puck was loose in front of the net. Good cover up right there and a great save on that previous rush. It went off his pad, then popped up, went off his face mask. And he still managed to keep it out of the net. Good saves. Well, certainly has been. And a little bit of luck mixed in. Yes. Puck luck. Westwood putting the pressure on, however. On these last couple of possessions. And now, racing into Westwood territory, here comes the speedy. Aiden Walsh, there's a shot, and it's wrapped up by O'Leary. 11.24 left to go in the first half. It remains a 1-0 game. Ryan title up against Faye. Dixon. And offsides. Sorry. 11 18 left to go. Killer is making all kinds of changes. We got Scardino, Moore, and Morse in there. Wrapped around. Scardino gets in there. That's Tyler Morse in the corner. Trying to come away with it for Westwood Fay. He'll send it up. Racing up the ice is Foley. Trying to put the trickery on. Nice defensive stand by Berman. Berman along the near side. All kinds of traffic. Berman gets it out over to Scardino. And now pass by Dixon to Berman. Racing towards Berman is Foley. Sends it over and now Wolverines steal it away as Guarino gets in there. Stolen back by Morris. He'll send it out to the neutral zone. Foley with the pass over. No one there for Westwood. Intercepted by Carazza. Here comes Mera. Pavit Mera with a shot a little high there. Sheamus corrals it in along the far side. Sends it over to Jarrett. Carazza down to Zolotarev. And he'll take a shot. That'll be wrapped up. Faceoff will come with 9.54 left to go in the first half. It's still sort of strange to say first half, right, the first period. It is. It took yeah. some getting used yeah. to. Should we call it a period of 22 and a half minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Tied up along the backboards is Carazza. Sends it out, intercepted by Sullivan. Now handled by Nolte along the far side. He'll send it over. Here comes Sullivan racing up the ice looking for a shot. Some good body contact there and he'll take the shot and it's turned away by Nora. Loose puck still. Mira trying to race to it. He'll get tied up with Pizzuto. Dangerous situation there. That was a great save by Norid. 
Sullivan was able to get a nice open shot. Mara. A little high there. Aiden Walsh along the far side. Mara gets back in there. Mara will take the shot. Turned away out in front. And it's still loose out in front. The goaltender trying to wrap it up. And he couldn't get the glove on it. Fortunately, no harm done for Westwood. All kinds of pressure provided by a mixture of Aiden Walsh and Mara. Well, the Westwood goalie, Zekwin O'Leary, he must have had five chances to cover that puck up. Very fortunate that Hawkington didn't it looked, went through right there. It looked like as he kept diving at it, he kept getting further and further yeah, it, away yeah, from Yeah, exactly. Him. The more he's over after the, the worst the situation got. Fortunately, it didn't cost him. And there's a quick shot by Toko. Turn away off the one-timer. Fahey sends it over. Here comes Jacobs. He'll take a shot. A little wide there. Popped off the boards, but taken by Westwood. And now Aiden Walsh trying to get in there, and we'll get a whistle. And I think that was one of those uh, grouping of players whistles you'll see from time to time. You probably won't see it too, too often. You don't have big scrums like, well, like, like you see it in the pros, but right from time to time. You know, when it. you get a herd of players jammed up on the boards like that, they'll blow it dead and have a restart. Jacobs along the corner. Toko pops it off the glass, handled by Dyson. And now it's intercepted by Title. Here he comes, trying to send it out, and it's diverted. Now Jarrett pops it off the boards. Racing up, horse fall. Over to Jacobs. Closing in. And there to turn him away is Jarrett. Jarrett off the glass. Here comes Zolotarev. He'll leave for Toko. Toko racing up. Takes the shot off the post and out of play. I'm not sure if that went off the goaltender's shoulder and then off the post. Very strange angle on that one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I thought I heard it hit yeah. post. Yeah, regardless, of that puck had a lot of juice on it. That popped right up into the net behind the glass. Not a big gap to sneak it in there. No. That has to be a perfect shot, really, for a shot like that. Mira. A little wide there. Sent back around by Sullivan. And now there's a pass attempt turned away off the stick of Mira. Up behind the net was Zoltarov. Zoltarov gets it out of the traffic jam along the corner. Mira now sends it back over to Karatsa. Karatsa leaves it out in front, intercepted by Nolte. Here comes Westwood. Sullivan. He's turned away by Jarrett. Sullivan and Jarrett matching up along the corner. Fahey takes a bang into the boards from Berman. In the neutral zone, that's Dyson. And Norred will turn that one away. Jarrett, and now here comes Karatsa. Aiden Walsh going to be diverted away, but able to get the stick on it. Ryan Title. He gets knocked down. And the Wolverines trying to work it back in Ehlers territory. Toko is there. And Title as well sends it back to Toko. Toko racing in. There's a shot turned away off the leg pad of O'Leary. Jammed up along the corner. Here comes Foley. There we got the stick in there. And now closing in Pizzuto. There's a shot and Norrid turns it away. Back and forth we go here in this first half. That's a great save right there. He had to see through a lot of bodies, too. He certainly did. He's been uh, pretty busy the last few yep. minutes. 
Sheamus pops it off the boards, and this one is going to force O'Leary out to wrap it up. I mean, really, it's some good chances here on both ends. I'd like to welcome everybody watching in Hopkinton as well as Westwood. TVL Large Hockey. Hillers leading Westwood 1-0 with 523 left to go in the first. Title. And racing up the near side is Jacobs. Westwood trying to continue the pressure. Hamilton sends it out. And that one off the stick of Fahey, diverted by Walsh. Over to the blue line, Pizzuto. Walsh sends it forward. Here comes Toko closing in. There's a shot. That's a little wide there. Taken away by Fahey. Sends it across over to Jacobs along the near side. Jarrett trying to cut off Jacobs. Jacobs trying to take it around. Sends it back over to Hamilton. Jarrett gets the stick on it. Along the near side it goes. Handled back ice by Dyson. There's a shot. Wide to the left goes Dyson. Jammed up along the far side boards. Little Tarf getting mixed up with Guarino. And now hopping into the midst of the action, Mera. Zolotarov wraps it around. Along the near side corner. Handled by Nolte. Now it's taken by Sheamus. He'll wrap it back around, Mera. Leaves it out, there's a shot and a goal! Joe Carazza! What a great setup. And goal there by Carazza. Mera with the assist. And it's 2-0 Hillers with 3.33 left to go in the first half. Beautiful setup right there. And that's exactly how you practice it. It certainly was. You get Carazza wait, just waiting in front yep. of the net. Mara sends it out and a beauty of a shot. Yep. Good setup, even better finish. And the hill is up 2 0. And we'll have a face off between Joe Carazza and Brendan Fay. Sheamus. Pops it off the boards. The Guff sends it over to the far side. That's up to Berman. He'll send it down. And that shot going to be wide from a Guff. Hopping in there to take it away. Sheamus sends it over to Carazza. That's uh, we'll put it in the Westwood territory as the Hillers make a change. With just under three minutes left in the first half. Handled by Dixon. Along the corner, that's Jarrett. Or make that Dixon. Over to Toko, goes title, here comes Toko closing in. And he'll be cut off, loose puck, and it's handled by Westwood. Took a big shot there, as he thought he would have an open opportunity. Jarrett pops it off the state of Toko, Toko off the boards before he takes a hit. And we'll, we'll get him. Icing here. Two oh five left to go in the first half. A two nothing lead for the Hillers. And Steve, this Hillers team—they've looked impressive in this half. 
Westwood's had some opportunities, which you got to expect. They're a great offensive team, yeah. but the Hillers have held their composure, and they're putting the pressure on. They should have, and a great bounce back from following a tough game on Saturday. Certainly is. Racing up the near side, horse fall. Leaves it out. Can someone get there? There's a shot, and that is in. The Wolverines respond. Paul Dyson with the goal. On the assist, Nick Horsfall. And it's a 2-1 to one game with 150 left to go in the first. Well, the Wolverines needed some momentum and they get it there. Great setup by Horsfall for Dyson. Yep, that is great momentum. Just one minute and three seconds following the Hill's second goal. Good answer right there. We have ourselves a game. Berman. Jammed up behind the net. Popped out there by Sheamus. Here comes the Hillers, Karatza. Racing in, takes a shot, little high there. And it gets by Sheamus. Over to Zolotarov. Now Mera. Mera with the backhander. No, it's turned away. He's trying to go top shelf with that one. Here comes Guarino. Taken away by Carazza. Jammed up along the boards now. Getting in there is Berman. Less than a minute left to go in the first half. It's been an action-packed first half. Mera. It's taken away. There's a shot. And sacrificing his body there was Sheamus. Sheamus digs it out from behind the net. Along the near side now. One-timer by Pizzuto is a little wide. There's a shot turned away by Norid. Out in front now. And... A great job by Title getting his body in there. And now it squirts out into Westwood territory, racing down Aiden Walsh. Walsh sends it out, turned away. Ten seconds left to go in the first half. Along the near side. Into Hiller's territory. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Steve, what an exciting first half it was. All kinds of action. And this is a pretty even matchup from what I've seen so far. Yep, same here. Lots of action at both ends. Some good scoring chances, good saves. It's exactly what you want to see. Well, it should be a great conclusion. But after the first half of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 2, Westwood 1. You are tuned in to uh, Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM second half coming up next. And welcome back into the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the second half, a two to one Hillers lead. As we start the second 22 minute 30 second frame, Tom Nappy, Steve Watson on the call. Mike Tarosian on camera. We are underway here in this second half. In the first half, it was the Hillers scoring the first goal. Jeff Toko scored the first goal. Then you had, and that was at 17.08 left, as there is a shot and a save by O'Leary. And then with just 3.33 left, it was Carazza scoring off a nice pass from Mera to make it 2 to nothing, And then... Westwood responded with 150 left to go with a goal of their own. Dyson had their goal. Robert Dyson off an assist from Horsefall. There's a backhander there by Jacobs. A little wide, jammed up along the far side. Certainly still anyone's game. And a shot here, turned away by Norrid. Still a loose puck and he'll wrap it up. Off the stick of Nick Horsefall, the captain. Colin Norrid with a nice save there, Steve. Yes, he sure was. But Horsefall, he, he should have pulled the trigger on that long yeah. before he actually did. He had a wide open net. 
That's right. There was a little hesitation yeah. there, and I think that's what cost uh, I'm not sure what for. He had that net wide open. See a wide open net, shoot it. Along the corner, sent around by Berman. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. Yep. Aiden Walsh sends it out. Title trying to work his way down. It's picked up by Hamilton. Along the near side. Getting in there for the Hillers is Jarrett, along with Title. Here comes Westwood. Looking for an opportunity here. That is Brendan Fay. He'll take a shot into the boards from Aiden Walsh. Toko sends it down. Picked up by Pizzuto. Here's Foley. And we're going to have a trip here against Toko. And he knows that he's going right to the penalty box. So Westwood will have a two-minute power play. 20.57 left to go. I don't think you meant to do that, Steve. <laughs> I don't think he meant to, but it was a penalty. It was very obvious. Right. And he just knew it. And oh, he knew right, it. Right to the box. So. so Yeah, I can't argue with that one. No, there's, especially when the referee is looking right at it, too. <laughs> Well, we'll see how the Hillers are at killing off this power play. Red and Faye coming in, and they try to sub in too late. So the official is saying, you have to wait. Connor Jacobs on the faceoff for Westwood against Mara. Two minute power play for the Wolverines. Can they take advantage? Guff sends it up to Horsefall. Horsefall racing in, leaves it out in front there to pick it up. That was Morse. Nice send away there. Faye. And here comes Faye racing in. There's a shot, and it is still a live puck. They weren't able to push it away, but we get a whistle. Not quite sure what that whistle was about there. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, the Westwood coaching staff's not too sure either. Well, it's possible that the referee thought that the puck was covered, when in fact it was not. I think that was the case. Yeah. I think he thought it, it was covered. When the referee's down in the corner, sometimes it does look like the goalie has it covered, but in this case it wasn't. An optical illusion. Yes. <laughs> Walsh sends it down. 108 left to go on the power play. There's a shot by Walsh a little wide. Put the power on that one. And now we get a whistle because the net came yeah. dislodged. The one thing I'm noticing here, Tom, is that the teams are going the both way and same uh, the same same way in both halves. So there is no long change in this case. Right. Very interesting. Title up against Guarino. Yeah, you get a couple of players subbing in rather than a whole line in a lot of cases with the limited bench. Yeah, that's how it is these days. There's a shot, live puck, can he wrap it up? That's still live, it squirts out. Jarrett gets the stick on it, sends it up the near side. And Pizzuto got the hand on it, and the net came dislodged. <laughs> Solid break right there for the Hillers, having that net dislodged. Yep. With Nord, he was, he was in a position to, to hop on that puck. He just has to go and jump on it. I thought that puck was going to be flying at you for a minute. Yeah. But Pizzuto was able <laughs> yeah. to catch it. And that one is covered up. Another face off here. Title up against Fay. Set down into Westwood territory. 30 seconds left on the Westwood power play. Dyson sends it up. Berman sends it right back. 
Here comes Sullivan. Trying to race in. Jarrett has something to say about that. Jarrett bangs Sullivan into the boards. Wolverines looking for an opportunity. Turning it away. Title. And the power play has expired. We are at even strength. And here's a steal by Mara. Mara going to swing around, take the shot, and it is wrapped up by O'Leary. Love save there. We'll have a faceoff at 18.45 left to go in the second half. That's right, 22 minute, 30 second halves this season. O'Brien sends it up the near side. Here comes Faye. Leaves it out, turned away. Along the corner, and we get a whistle. The net came dislodged. I don't think this uh, rink has uh, as much security for the nets as the rink they typically play uh, on. You know, just looking at these two nets, Tom, I would say that your statement's probably accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the other rink, they have they have uh, some kind of uh, system that keeps the net in place for the most part. These nets are just flat on the ice. Along the near side. Cole Dixon trying to sneak it out. Dixon wrapped up with Foley. And we get a stoppage here. I'm guessing that was a grouping stoppage. COVID-19 stoppage. <laughs> yeah, the official over here was shouting. I couldn't really make out what he was shouting, but. And this face-off comes with 18.09 left. Westwood has too many players on the ice. Yeah, seven. <laughs> Toko hangs it off the boards. Title trying to come away with it. Well, a lot of stoppages to start yeah. off the second half. I think, I think we've had more stoppages so far in this half than we did the whole first half. Right. That first half was very smooth, very oh. clean, flew by. Yeah. Second half, not so much so far. And that stoppage was because of an icing. Title knocks it back. Pass up by Jacobs. Here comes Westwood. There's a shot a little high by Fahey. Toko gets the stick in there. Sent over by Dyson. Along the corner. Horse fall. Stolen away by Toko. Aiden Walsh got in there, but Dyson had something to say about that. In the Hillers' territory, Jarrett. There was Morse trying to pick up his stick there. And he did just in time to knock that one into the corner. Out in front. Backhander, no, and then a secondary shot, and it's turned away. Horsefall nearly had it, and then a third shot. That's turned away off the stick of Pulse. That was uh, Jacobs. Good pressure there by Westwood, and Horsefall had an open opportunity, but just could not find the little gap. And a great job there by Colin Nord holding down the fort. Yeah, that was some good goaltending yeah, work there. Yeah, there was some great work in that crease. You certainly can't ask for any more pressure than that. Uh, Westwood had three quality chances. Norwich didn't move too far out. Just held down the fort. They got the job done. Here's Mara. There's a shot. And it goes off the defender, McGuff. Along the far side, Sullivan. He leaves it up for Guarino. Rister turned away. Popped off the boards by Nolte. Mara steals it away. Mara flips it into Westwood territory. Hiller is in the midst of a change. 
Working up the far side, Nolte. Nolte leaves it behind. There's a shot from the high slot by Dyson. A little too much there. Into the corner, that's Berman. He'll send it around. Along the far side now, here comes Title. The sophomore, Ryan Title, racing in. There's a shot and a glove saved by O'Leary. Fifteen twenty-nine left to go in regulation. A two-to-one Hillers lead. Ryan Title on the faceoff for the Hillers. Toko swings it around. Toko gets the stick in there. Trying to track it down, Dyson. Sent back towards Toko. And he was looking for somebody in front of the net there. Sheamus knocks it over to Toko. Here comes Toko. There's a shot a little wide. Along the far side now. Here comes Faye. Faye with the backhander, intercepted by Toko. He'll send it out. Picked up by McGuff. Foley. Leaves it for Pizzuto. Handled by Berman. Racing in, Carazza. Carazza trying to send it out in front. Mara now. Mara is looking for an opening. He'll send it out to Morse. Now to Berman. Here's a shot a little wide. Wolverine's trying to break away. And there's a shot wrapped up by Norid. Good save there. That was off the stick of Hamilton. Good save right there by Colin Norid. Some good power from the sophomore, Thomas Hamilton, on the shot. This faceoff comes with 13.51 left to go. On the one timer, diverted. Fahey trying to dig it out. Toko. There goes Toko. Rister turned away. Jammed up along the corner. And we'll get a grouping stoppage. Thirteen twenty-nine left to go. Sent down towards the slot area. And we'll have an icing. You counting the stoppages, Steve? Lost track. <laughs> There's a lot of them, though. Title up against Horsefall. Here's a shot, and it's turned away off the stick of Aiden Walsh. He was going five hole on that one. Along the near side. Handled by Dixon. He'll set it down. Popped off the boards. Back ice at Sheamus. Mara gets in there. Now racing in, Karatsa, and there's a shot off the glove, and it's popped up. Up behind the net now, Mara handles it, sends it out, Karatsa! And that is going to be diverted into the protective netting. Sticks of uh, Karatsa and Horsefall getting mixed up there. Good pressure by the Hillers on that stand. Great pressure right there. You're going to need some more chances here. It'd be nice to get one more goal. That's insurance. 
Mira up against Fahey. Carrazzo sends it back to Jarrett. Now to Carrazzo. Leaves it out for Berman. Wrist there, go! Mike Berman! What a beauty of a shot that was from Mike Berman. And Carrazzo with another assist. The junior defenseman gets it done and makes it a three to one game with 12.29 left to go. Exactly as I was saying, it would be nice to have another goal as insurance. Sure enough. Some good insurance right there. Courtesy of Mike Berman. Racing up the ice, Guarino. Out in front, wrapped up by Norid on the slow roller. Miller's making a change. Title up against Fahey. There's a shot and it is wrapped up. Nice job by Norid there. Norid's had some tremendous saves so far this evening. Yes, he's had a great night in that. And there's another one. That was off the stick of Sullivan. Jammed up along the far side corner. Berman races in. Just past the reach of Walsh. Popped off the boards by O'Brien. Garrett trying to dig it out of the corner. He's tied up by Guarino. And now it squirts out into Westwood territory. Along the near side, Sullivan. There's a shot and a glove save by Norred. He'll leave it for Dixon. And get it off sides. Eleven twenty-seven left to go in regulation. A three-one Hillers lead. Hopkinton looking for their second win of the season and looking to hand Westwood their first loss of the season. Westwood taking down Medfield in Week One in both games. The Hillers split their two games with Norwood. Along the near side, over to the corner, Mara. Leaves it for Carrazzo, backhand, and it goes behind the net. On the far side, that's Hamilton. Up around the boards it goes. Handled by Pizzuto, he's jammed up now. Mara squirts it out, over to Sheamus. And Dixon trying to send it up. Mara out in front, Sheamus looking for the one-timer, and it's stolen away. A nice job there by Foley, and he's looking for a shot, but Sheamus responds in a big way with a nice block. Mara racing up the ice. Looking to set something up, and it's stolen away. Quick break here. Here comes Hamilton, there's a shot turned away by Norrid. Top of the circle, Horsefall, trying to send it out to the slot. Jarrett's there to intercept. Into Westwood territory it goes. Aiden Walsh racing in. Title now, jammed up along the boards. Here comes Horsefall. Towards the net, looking to sneak it in, but Nord is there. Big shot there, and that's going to draw a whistle. Kevin McGough will go to the penalty box for the head shot on Toko. Little too high on the contact. I don't think it was intentional. Toko was kind of leaned over, but when you get the head like that, it's going to be a penalty. Yep, absolutely. And like you said, the intent really doesn't have a little much to do with it. 
Right. It, it is what it is. It's just a, a bit too high. Dangerous play there. The Hillers will be on the power play for the next two minutes. Pavit Mera up against Declan Guarino. Brian sends it out from the corner. And wrapped up by Norid. Hillers with the man advantage. Mera leaves it for Zolotaro. And now Karatsa sends it up. Zolotaro trying to get in there. He's jammed up along the boards with O'Brien. Squirts out over to Mera. Back to the blue line. Mera. There's a shot a little high. Trying to get it out from behind the net, Zoltarov. Up to Sheamus. Back to Zoltarov, it gets by him. Sent up and around, Sheamus is there. And he's able to keep it in Westwood territory. Carrazzo sends it out. Marinal. Back to Dixon. Sheamus. That shot turned away. Sheamus. Miller's doing a good job controlling here on this power play opportunity. Mera. Off the stick of Karatsa and out of play it goes. 41 seconds left on the power play. 8-10 left in the game. Both teams making some changes. Title up against Faye. And we'll have it offsides. Title up against Fahey. Over to Jarrett. Wraps it around. Dyson knocks it off the boards, but Aiden Walsh is there to contest. Berman sends it over to Aiden. Walsh. On the corner, that is Toko. Jarrett going to wrap it around. Toko back to Walsh. Looking for a shot here. All kinds of traffic in front of the net. Loose puck. Toko is able to kick it out with his skate towards Walsh. Berman. And Berman got tied up. The power play has expired. We are at even strength. Good penalty kill there by Westwood. Sent up the near side of Fahey. Popped off the boards by Horsefall. Handled by Dixon. Magoff. Jarrett sends it across. Dixon up to Carrazza. Carrazza trying to sneak through. Here comes Jacobs. There's a shot and a little wide there. And a play it goes. We'll have a face-off with 6.32 left to go. Along the corner. Here comes Mira. Leaves it for Carrazza. Racing in, there's a shot and a goal! What a beauty, Joe Carrazza, the sophomore! A 4-1 Hillers lead. 
What a snipe right there on that shot. That was an absolute snipe. Yeah, there's not many goalies who are stopping that, Tom. I thought that was going to go out of the back of the net. Yep. That had a lot of heat on it. it certainly did. Beauty of a shot by Carazza. And he's a player that got a lot of playing time on this team as a freshman. And now in his sophomore year, he's just looking better and better. That's his second one in this game. He's having himself quite a night. Pavit Mera with his second assist. Handled by Sheamus. Get a whistle here, offsides. 6.01 left to go, a 4-1 lead for the Hillers. The Hillers will hit the road on Saturday and take on Westwood in their home arena. And we'll have girls hockey for you this coming Saturday. Our first look at the girls team as they take on Medway. Toko sends it down. Right now the girls team in action against Medway over at the Blackstone Valley Iceplex in Medway's home arena. Couple changes for both sides. Faceoff comes with 5.48 left to go. Title up against Faye. And that is knocked out of play. Toko trying to sneak in there with a backhander. Sent up by Morse. Along the near side, Toko jammed up along the boards. O'Brien pops it off the boards and the Hillers territory goes and Norid gonna have to wrap that one up. Hiller's changing everybody out. Shots like that, Tom, if you're a goaltender, just cover it up. Play it safe. Yep. Three goal lead, late second half, play it safe. Good Absol job. Absolutely. Sheamus sends it along the near side. Into Westwood territory along the corner. O'Brien trying to get it out of the jam. Nice job there by Sheamus. Barraza gets in there to bang Jacobs into the boards. We're on the far side now. Certainly a great response to a tough loss on Saturday by the yes. Hillers. Yeah, especially you know, on, on Wednesday, you, you win your first game of the year, then you have a tough loss on Saturday. But a great response here in this one. It's exactly what you want if you're Hawkington. Title on the faceoff against Horsfall. Back to the blue line, there's a shot and a glove saved by O'Leary. Some nice heat on that shot from Dixon. Right, good shot, good save right off the faceoff. Much like the first goal of this game. Dixon, will he do it again? No popping around this time. Or at least attempt to. Here comes Westwood. Fahey leaves it out. Good diversion by Sheamus. Toko off the boards. And Walsh gets a piece of it. Walsh trying to sneak through. Racing up, this is Stacy. There's a shot turned away out in front. Norid covers it up. Smart move there. 4.02 left to go. Hiller's up 4 to 1. Hopkinton Hiller's sports coverage continues Friday. We'll have girls basketball against Westwood. 
catch the stream of the freshman game at 3.30. Then we'll have coverage of the JV and varsity game starting at 5 p.m. Right here on HCAM. Your home for Hopkinton Hiller Sports. Along the near side, here comes Carrazza. Racing in, there's a shot turned away. Nearly a secondary attempt by Zulatarov. Sending it down now is Morse, up around the net. Mira trying to dig it out. Gets it to the blue line of Jarrett. Now it's back to Mara. In the corner, Mara working his way around. Zoltarov, Mara, now Morse. Zoltarov going to track it down. Hiller's doing a good job at controlling here. There's a shot by Jarrett turned away. Mara racing in. Shot, turn away. Good save there by O'Leary. Hiller's keeping the pressure on. Under three minutes left to play. Here comes Sullivan. Into Westwood territory it goes as the Hillers make a change. Racing up the ice, Horsefall. Out in front. And backhander is wide by Faye. There's a shot from Dyson. Dyson, top of the circle. There's a shot right off of Mara, square it's up, and back into the neutral zone. Empty net for Westwood. Sheamus sends it out to Toko, just wide. Here comes Horsefall. Over to Faye. Toko to the empty net, and it's in! Jeff Toko with the finisher. That makes it a five to one game with one minute, 30 seconds left to go. And that should put the icing on the cake for the Hillers. That sure should have five one lead here with the buck 30 left. Westwood will send their goalie back in. And a great finish here to the second half for Hopkinton. A dominant win by the Hillers here tonight. A great defensive effort, tremendous goalkeeping by Colin Norin. And some fantastic pressure all across the board by the Hillers. Over along the far side now, Morse will wrap it around. There's Tyler Morse into the game. Along with his brother Andrew Morse. Bianchi. We're watching uh, some of the future players that'll be in the starting fold in a couple of years. Less than a minute left to go. The Hillers going to improve to two and one. Overall, Westwood will fall to two and one. And these two teams will see each other a few more times this season, including this coming Saturday. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Norrid. Off the stick of McGough. Guarino looking to set something up. And it's turned away. And that should just about do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take down the Westwood Wolverines by a final score of five to one. Hillers now two and one overall. Westwood now two and one overall. Steve, a great effort tonight by the Hillers. 
and to come off such a tough loss to Norwood Saturday and have a performance like this against a very good Westwood team yeah. doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, it was a great win, great response to a tough loss on Saturday. Great job in net by Colin Norwood. <laughs> you, you saw Westwood had a lot of chances to tie this game up. All of them got stopped. And Hawkins got a few insurance goals to close out this victory. It was a great team effort tonight. Tremendous goalkeeping by Colin Norrid. Great defensive effort. And a great effort by the forwards as well, keeping the pressure on this Westwood team as the Hillers take the win tonight, 5-1. to one. And that is just about going to do it for our coverage. Your player of the game, many to consider. Uh, we'll give it to Joe Carrazza. He had a couple goals. Sold. All right. So for... Mike Tarosian on camera, my broadcast partner Steve Watson, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkins and Hiller's Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good night, everybody.